Was crashed in the ocean, yeah. and then how could he have possibly known Bernard was stuck up in the tree if he came from the ocean because that was in the jungle? Right. So ultimately, it leads to a struggle. They roll down the field. He goes to uh, jump on her. She holds up her stick and gets and gets the tail. Season four flashback. Juliet goes up to Ben and wants to know why it's been two weeks and Goodwin hasn't been back. How much longer is it going to be? So he right. brings her up here, shows her Goodwin's body, oh, yeah. laying there with the stick hanging out of it, and then she's like, "Why are you doing this to me?" Uh, yeah. Radio Hill is yeah. the first place they call it. Yeah. So, this is supposedly the highest place on the island, and they come here to get radio reception. So, Saeed yeah. gets a bar right here on the transceiver. You hear the French woman's voice. You figure out it's been on a loop for about 16 years. Charlotte is, or, uh, uh, Shannon interprets the message, and we figure out it sounds like someone's been killed or everyone had been killed. And then Charlie goes, guys, where are we? And that's when you knew the series was going to get nuts. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, season finale of season three. Same exact spot, but they shoot back this way, and you don't know it. You don't know you're yeah, standing in the same spot. Totally the same. This is where the radio tower was. However, the radio tower is on the north shore. So they show this scene, and then the radio tower, they're at the base of it. And you know where the radio tower is? Right behind the gas station on the north shore where the story is pulling the pond. Hanging down the center of that tower appeared to be a hydrogen bomb. It's about six feet around and about 12 feet long, and it's a jughead across the side of it. So it looks like they're getting ready to drop a bomb down into the island. I don't know if the current time passed or if it's the island shifted to World War II or the building. That's the thing. That's it, I think. Yeah. Now you see the metal post up on that platform? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That had chain drooped all the way around there. Right. They had the ropes all full taut, the bomb hanging down the metal. Wow. And she's like, I think I recognize you. And he goes, uh, I, was in the, I was in the band Drive Shaft. And she's like, no way. And he starts singing, you are. Oh, yeah. That's right here. A lot of movies. So on the way down there, guys, I'm going to play that clip. It's the cameras and yeah. stuff. All of a sudden, they're like action, and we watch uh, Kate, Sawyer, and Locke hike that hill. Which, the, the hill? Right there, yep. There's just that little rise right in front of the tree line. Is that in season five? Yeah. And then I drove down there. And right when I got past one of the trucks, Kate was... So this is where Harley walked up and says, Welcome to the first and hopefully last island open. So you see... Yeah, you remember the episode when Jack and Kate had their own little personal tournament and they're arguing over about golf, when it was about accuracy yeah, or yeah. what? He slices the ball off into that tree line right there. They're down there trying to find it. That's when Echo walks out of the woods with Sawyer over his shoulder and he's passed out because he's all infected because they stabbed him after he tortured him. What they do here specifically is the three big things. One, the polar bear escape. So this yeah. is when um, young uh, Walter's reading a comic book and then he comes to life and then he has to escape from the polar bear, right? In this cluster. You got Sawyer being tortured by Saeed in this cluster, and you've also got third season Kate and Juliet back into this uh, cluster to escape the black myth, the black smoke monster, right? So those are the big three big scenes. However, there's many little things that can come through here, where the characters will be running along this uh, banyan cluster, or they will just be walking through it. Like a good example is um, when they first come across Echo. Echo comes and he grabs um, Jin and Sawyer and he puts them in a pit, right? They drag their bodies right through this cluster, actually, before they get to the pit. Interestingly enough, the pit that they went to is a completely other side of the island from here. So Sawyer was tortured by Saeed. Right here. No, just, you're doing what they said on the internet. You're showing a picture. Oh, right here, guys. So this is a great opportunity to get a picture here because this is your torture scene. This is when Sawyer was... Look at that one. Yes, right against here. There's no way we yeah, can get true. these prints off of you. Depending on the day, it starts to look
Oh, yeah. Great. You got pre production, you got the writers, you got the location production, you got the casting director, and all that pre production work. Then you got the actual crew for the, you know, filming the people, the, the actors, the directors, the assistant directors, the grip, the collective people, the camera people, blah, blah, blah. You got caterers, security, yeah? I mean, post production, editing, score, sound, music. Yeah. The touch point in the show is far reaching. A lot of people are involved in production. So a lot of it. It looks like a deserted island when you look this way. When you look this way, it doesn't look like a deserted island because you get the home. But that's why they focus primarily most of the this way. So you'll see all this vegetation intact. I've seen episodes where the camera's looking this way toward the wine eyes. For example, Access Parts 1 and 2, the first season finale. When they're launching the boat that Walter and Mike might the lines that you were just looking at on the phone here, all that right out here. Yeah, exactly. Right. And so he basically follows his father in there, and that's when he meets up with John Locke, because John's all bloody, carrying a boar, right? He just killed a boar. Yeah, yeah. all that. Yeah. So we'll go back in here. Or you need to stand. Time for the valley. So, yeah. What I have to do is I'll get you to the pivotal event and then we're gonna have time to get you the whole valley. And at that time I need to run your guys' credit card or however you want to pay. Because yeah, yeah. your reservation just been held at this point in time. No problem. Yeah. So I'll grab it from you when we get there, I'll go up and handle that and then get it back to you right away.